Hello everyone, welcome to this presentation. My name is Igor, I'm from company WebSwing and I want to show you how you can use WebSwing technology to migrate your Java Swing application into modern JavaScript libraries as React, Angular, Vue or some other. So first, what is WebSwing? WebSync is a web server which allows you to run any Java Swing application inside your web browser exclusively using HTML5. WebSync is supporting Java Swing, Java FX, Applets, and NetBeans. As well, WebSync is supporting all the major browsers, as you can see them listed here on the right side of my screen. I want to show you first how does an application running in a web browser looks like. So let me go to my browser and let me start here. So this is a simple Java Swing application having three main components, the J internal frame, the spinner, and the J option pane. All this runs in a web browser. You can see the URL here. So for me as an end user, all this is as a simple web page. You can see how this dialogs works. All this is Swing. So nothing really migrated yet. Okay, go back here. So what can be the approach? Uh, what can be your approach to use WebSwing technology? Many users use this approach, which is we call WebSwing Forever. So they use the application exactly as I showed you just right now. In the web browser, the application is Java Swing and all runs as it would be a desktop application. The application is installed on the server and the end user is connecting via URL. Still, many WebSync users want to move from move away from Swing and they want to go to different technology, as for example, some JavaScript library. So there are two major approaches which are listed here. One is we call it the Big Bang approach. So that means you rebuild your application from the ground and aim for single release point. This takes usually longer than expected, costs more than expected, and requires a certain end user acceptance on the end of the day when the application is launched. Uh, what we recommend is using this step by step approach, what means innovating the app along the way and aim for continuous release plan. Let me show you more details. So here is the process described on the right side of my screen. You can see these four icons. The red always means Java Swing. The blue means React. So in the first icon, you can see the application is full Swing. And then different modules change step by step. And on the first, fourth icon, only some little part of the application is still swing all the others is react these two technologies work together and the uh, web sync allows coexistence of the two technologies in one application so here is the process described to so you launch the swing application as we saw before you identify the crucial parts which you want to migrate first or probably you need to develop some new parts which you do not want to develop in java swing anymore so you can develop them now in in JavaScript library, you make some planning regarding what should be migrated when. You migrate in small and logical parts. And as you launch the new version of the application with a little bit more migrated, you get frequent users' feedback, which is that is helping a lot on the end of the day. 
to get better user acceptance while the application is changed. It's changing. Okay, so this is the step-by-step -step process. Let me show you a little more. Here are some screenshots. So you can see the screen number one, it's it's swing. Even from the look and feel, same three buttons here as we saw before. Screen number two, it's the menus are React. The main frame is still swing. And screen number three, all is migrated. Let me show it to you live in a, in a web page. I go here. Uh, here is here is I go to stage number one. Regarding stage zero, still many of you ask how to start with WebSync. So please go to our YouTube channel. Here is a quick start guide, or please use WebSync documentation, or please go to download and download the latest version. Still, also in this. This demo, which is on the prototype .org. you can see the main links here on the left side. So there is a JavaFX demo, WebSync homepage, downloads, client portal, and documentation. So easy to navigate. Still, in the stage number one, I go to the internal frame. As we saw in the previous picture, it's Swing running in a React menu option pane dialogues all is swing stage number two in the option pane consider the buttons were migrated to react i click on this button and i see the dialogue is in swing so these two technologies simply work together in one application. Stage number three. This didn't change. I go to the internal frame. You can see the buttons are React here too, but the list is showing all this swing components and using tabs here. The spinner didn't change. Also the menus are swing, body swing. Go to stage number four. Okay. Frame, table. You can add new records, for example, and you can see that the dialogue is swing but the information is sent back to a application which is react go to stage five a little more was migrated now the part is Page number six, effectively all is migrated now. You see also these dialogues are now React. When you go to Spinner, some parts are like impossible to migrate. So therefore it's still using Java Swing. So much about this demo. Go back to the presentation. Here is the link again, prototype.websing.org slash migration. If you have any questions, please contact us via sales at websing.org. And thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.